Now I'll take uh, the next thing under this chapter that is electroplating of chromium. How we carry the electroplating process? Okay, in particularly the deposition of chromium over the surface of uh, uh, the usually we'll take a nickel, uh, copper nickel or a nickel and apple. Okay, and electroplating process you've already studied. It is the deposition. So, for all electroplating process, we'll take anode, positive charged electrode and a cathode, negative charged electrode and we'll supply some DC power. See here, usually this electroplating process is carried, uh, carried over the electrically conducting surface. Uh, and the coating material is made as anode. So, in this case, uh, the chromium, we may take a active anode or a inert anode and uh, periodically we we'll introduce a metal ion to the electrolytic uh, solution. In the case of chromium plating, if you want to carry a chromium plating process, that time we have to take a salt which contains chromium ion. So that's why we will take around 250 gram of chromic acid. So it can able to facilitate chromium ion. So there are two kinds of chromium plating is possible. Actually three kinds of chromium plating is possible. That is a decorative chromium. The one type what we called it as a decorative chromium. The second type is a hard chromium. And the third type what we called it as a black chromium. So usually we will carry decorative or a hard chromium. So this decorative chromium usually carried out uh, over the surface of uh, uh, copper nickel or nickel under coat. So, and the deposition thickness is very less, it's around 0 0.25 to 0.75 micrometer, whereas uh, uh, hard chromium, slightly thick deposition carried out, that's around 2.5 to 300 micrometer. So, here it is a thick coating, so that's why it's considered as a hard chromium. And in the case, in the other uh, world, if you carry a thin deposition, then it is, comes under decorative chromium. So, in the case of hard chromium, we will introduce a little more chromic acid or in other words, little more chromium ion. Whereas, in the case of decorative chromium, less chromium ion will facilitate. So, that is by using chromic acid and sulfuric acid. That is 250 gram of chromic acid is taken. To that, we will introduce 2.5 gram of sulfuric acid. That means, we maintain a ratio of 100 is to 1 per liter of the solution is maintained. And in the case of hard chromium, we have to introduce a little higher chromium ion. So that's why we'll directly introduce one gram of trivalent chromium directly. One gram of trivalent chromium per liter of the solution. And this is what the component will take and it is for liter of the solution. Per liter of the solution for decorative chromium, 250 gram uh, chromic acid, 2.5 gram of uh, sulfuric acid. And uh, that sulfate ion is uh, important to carry this uh, process to make a uh, thin deposition or uh, it can able to facilitate required number of chromium ions, okay. Here, 250 gram of chromic acid and 2.5 gram of uh, sulfuric acid with the 1 gram of trivalent chromium ion directly introduced, okay. Then, the next thing what I will taken is an anode. Anode usually insoluble anodes are taken. Uh, insoluble anodes like lead with the lead uh, with 6% antimony or lead with 7% tin coated with the lead dioxide is a preferred one. That is a lead with antimony or lead with the tin. Usually 6% antimony is introduced and here tin if you take 7% tin is introduced which is coated with the lead dioxide. In both the case same type of anode is used. Insoluble anodes like lead, lead with 6% uh, um, and uh, antimony or 7% tin is coated with the lead dioxide. The cathode is a nickel pre-coated article, so our article to be plated is taken as a cathode. And the temperature maintained for this uh, coating is 45 to 60 degrees Celsius and current density is a 145 to 430 ampere per feet square. And for hard chromium, we maintain little more current density that is 290 to 580 ampere per feet square. That is 4, 145 to 430 for a thick thin chromium plating. For thick chromium plating, it is 290 to 580 ampere per feet square. Is taken. And if you apply that much of for current density, you can get a potential, sorry, current efficiency of 10 to 15 percent, cathode efficiency. Current efficient to 10 to 15 percent in case of decorative and 17 to 21 percent in case of 
hard chromium. So this is about about composition of uh, uh, chromium plating. And then how we carry this chromium plating? To carry this chromium plating, uh, you all know that is in an electroplating bath, the anode, insoluble anode may be tinned with the 6% uh, antimony or a tin with the 7% sorry lead with the 6% antimony or a lead with 7% tin is taken okay. here we take chromic acid okay. in both the case we will use a chromic acid sulfuric acid only the varying degree of percentage here 250 gram of this, uh, here 25 gram, yeah, sulfuric acid is, sorry, 2.5 gram of sulfuric acid is used. If you introduce along with this, if you introduce 1 gram trivalent, it's a, a bath composition for hard chromium, okay. Then anode, insoluble anode, cathode is a nickel plated article is taken as cathode. And you pass the electric current, that time the chromic acid, Present in the bath composition facilitate chromium ion. Chromic acid, it is not dichromate, it is a chromic acid. So it undergo dimerization plus okay, further this dimerized component which form an ion, dichromate ions are. Further, this dichromate ion dissociate in the acidic medium. Uh, in the acidic medium, it undergo reduction forming trivalent chromium. It is not directly the chromium ion. First, it gives a trivalent chromium. Okay, so to balance this one, 14 moles of H plus and 6 moles of electron is consumed, thereby forming 2 moles of trivalent chromium. This chromium trivalent ion, the further reduced to form a metal chromium. And this metal chromium get deposited over the surface of the base uh, metal. Okay. See here, the reaction that taking place during electroplating of chromium is when you pass an electric current of about, that again depends upon the, uh, what the current density applied. If you apply for, for, within 430, usually thin plating is possible. With the trivalent chromium ion, with the, if you apply a potential uh, more than 290, uh, around uh, around the 580 ampere per feet square, that time thick deposition is possible. Okay, so during the uh, process, when you apply electric current, that time the chromic acid, the salt which present or the solution which present in the electroplating bar, they dimerize to form H2Cr2O7. Further, H2Cr2O7 can able to facilitate chromate, dichromate ions, Cr2O7 to minus. And the further, the these dichromate ions, the chromium ions, the dichromate ions undergo reduction. So, in the presence of acid, so that's why we'll introduce sulfuric acid forming trivalent chromium ion. So, the sulfate ion, so why we introduce the sulfate ion? So, this sulfate ion able to convert so this this if you observe the uh, valency of this chromium ion this chromium ion valency is 6 in the presence of sulfate ion or in other words sulfuric acid okay see chromium 6 plus converts to chromium 3 plus ion by complex anodic reaction okay further this chromium ion is coated as an elemental chromium on the cathode surface Okay. So, for this conversion, so this is sulfuric acid is needed. That's why we will introduce 100 is to 1 ratio uh, chromic acid and sulfuric acid. If you maintain this ratio, then the facility or the chromium ion uh, formation becomes continuous or in other words, it can maintain uh, 100 is to 1 ratio of chromium ion. Cr plus 6 ion gets reduced to, first it gets reduced to Cr plus 3 ion. Further, Cr plus 3 ion gets uh, reduced to a Cr ion. Okay. 
the first chromic acid converted to dichromate dichromate further the chromate ions exist that chromate ion contains cr plus 6 ion in the presence of h plus it get reduced to cr plus 3 ion cr plus 3 ion further reduction to form cr okay but the for good to deposition this one criteria required to make a thin and uniform deposition is the amount of cr plus 3 ion availability in the vicinity of the electrode should be very low okay if the concentration of this cr plus 3 ion is low in around the electrode then we can it is possible to make a continuous thin deposition or a thin deposition is possible Okay. So, to maintain this low concentration, that means as soon as the Cr plus 3 ion is produced, we have to remove that Cr or we have to reduce the concentration of Cr uh, plus 3 ion by using insoluble anode uh, which is uh, like a, a lead with uh, tin or a lead with uh, 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 antimony okay, coated with the lead dioxide. And this lead dioxide, why we put? Because as soon as the Cr3 plus ion is formed, a portion of Cr3 plus ion gets converted into, reconverted into Cr plus 6. So, that the availability of Cr plus 3 in the vicinity of the electrode gets reduced. As a result, only few Cr plus 3 ions get converted into Cr and deposited over the surface of the metal. Okay. See here, one thing sulfuric acid is used. The sulfuric acid help for the reduction of Cr, Cr plus 6 to Cr plus 3 by complex anodic reaction. Further, the Cr plus 3 get deposited as a elemental chromium or a metal chromium get deposited. So, this 2.5% or 2.5 gram of sulfuric acid is sufficient to convert Cr plus 6 to Cr plus 3 ions. As a result, that the plenty amount of Cr plus 3 ions are uh, produced in the electroplating bath. So, we have to maintain a low concentration of Cr plus 3 ions. For that purpose, we will introduce an insoluble anode. Insoluble anode like lead 6% antimony or lead 7% tin which is coated with the lead dioxide. And this lead dioxide help to convert Cr plus 3 ion to Cr plus 6 ions. That is further oxidation is possible as a result. As a result, Cr plus 3 ion in the vicinity of the electrode gets reduced. So, thin and uniform coating is possible. But here, in the case of hard chromium, already 1 gram of trivalent we ought to be introduced. It exists. The total quantity of Cr plus 3 ion in the case of hard chromium is much more higher than the decorative chromium. Even though we use sulfuric acid, only few part portion of that it convert to Cr ion cr plus 6 to cr plus 3 ions so for the cr plus 3 to cr revert back reaction gets uh, reduced so little more cr plus 6 ion, plus 3 ions are available in the vicinity of the electrode as a result little thick deposition is possible in the case of hard chromium see you know the result uh, uh, reason why we use a sulfuric acid and insoluble anode the insoluble is anode is used uh, in order to control the uh, uh, concentration of cr plus 6 ions otherwise for good deposition cr plus 3 ion concentration should be very low and it is controlled by insoluble anodes like lead with the antimony or lead with the tin which is coated with the lead dioxide which oxidizes cr plus 3 ion to cr plus 6 ion as a result it can able to maintain a concentration uh, sorry uh, a concentration of these two in the form of 100 is to 1 okay so this is the main reason to maintain uh, uh, concentration as a result we can get a thin and uniform coat, coating and again so here lead dioxide and tin why we use you come to know then why we use an insoluble anodes if you use an in, insoluble or inert anodes are used if you are not used the inert anodes then there is a difference between anode to cathode ratio here the complete anode dissolution when we apply electric current 
when we apply an electric current, so complete dissolution is observed, 100% dissolution is observed, but the deposition rate what we observe during the process is only 20%. Okay, so there is an imbalance between the anode and cathode efficiency. This leads to imbalance in the bath composition. Formation of Cr plus 6 ion or a free Cr plus 3 ion with that of deposition of Cr ions is varied. To, to maintain the concentration, uh, 100 is to 1, we have to use an insoluble anode. Okay, insoluble anode, this uh, maintain the uh, ratio 100 is to 1 by converting Cr plus 3 to Cr plus 6 ions. As a result, the availability of Cr plus 3 ion in the vicinity of the electrode gets reduced. Only few metal uh, can or undergo reduction and get deposited as an elemental uh, chromium ion. Okay. This is actual uh, the electroplating process that taking place here. Uh, the one thing is we are not use an active anode. Why we are not use active anode? If you use an active anode, that results. If you use an active anode here, hundred percent dissolution takes place. Anode get uh, dissolved completely, and the deposition at the same bath. If you observe the deposition rate, it is only twenty percent. That is efficiency is imbalanced. This leads to imbalance of bath composition with respect to this Cr plus three with that of uh, Cr. Okay, so, sorry. The Cr plus 3 and Cr plus 6 ion, okay, imbalance is observed, okay, ratio. And even if it is imbalanced, then again the ratio between the chromic acid and sulfuric acid gets varied. Instead of maintaining 100 is to 1, it may vary. To maintain the same concentration, we have to use an insoluble anode. The sulfuric acid mainly helps to convert Cr plus 6 to Cr plus 3 ion. Further, Cr plus 3 ion gets deposited as an elemental chromium. Insoluble anode, uh, which help for the thin and uh, uniform deposition. Okay. So, the next here given the in chromium plating inert anodes are used due to large difference between anode and cathode efficiency that is dissolution and deposition rate this leads to imbalance of bath composition with respect to chromium 3 and chromium 6 plus ion ratio and in turn chromic acid to sulfuric acid ratio here the sulfate ion usually acts as a catalyst sulfate ion act as a catalyst that's why we introduce sulfuric acid which facilitates sulfur sulfate ions and even not only sulfate that h plus ion help for conversion of cr plus 6 ion to cr plus 3 ion by complex anodic reaction and is coated as an elemental chromium on the cathode surface and again for good to deposit it's one of the criteria to make a good deposition metal ion concentration should be low we have to apply a moderate current density the throwing power that is a deposition or uniform deposition is uh, possible if the throwing power of the plating bath is good okay and we may introduce a brightener levelers etc for a good deposition cr plus 3 ion concentration should be low so if the cr plus 3 ion concentration is low then a uniform deposition is uh, possible thin and uniform deposition is possible if cr plus 3 ion concentration is more most of the cr plus 3 gets reduced and then forming a cr and in the vicinity of the metal cr plus 3 ion concentration increases which in turn increases the uh, deposition rate or thick deposition is possible instead of getting a desired thickness we may get a thick deposition okay or a rough deposition is possible to avoid that one we have to maintain the concentration uh, constant or a very low CR plus 3 ion concentration and this is possible by using insoluble anode. If you use a soluble anode, the anode also dissolves so large number of CR plus 3 ions are available. As a result, a thick deposition is observed. If you use an insoluble anode, only few LA uh, chromium ions are in the vicinity, chromium 3 plus ions are in the vicinity of the electrode. So, it get reduced and deposited over the surface of base metal. Okay. So, this is about uh, electroplating of chromium once again i'll just recollect in the case of electroplating of chromium in all electroplating process we have to use some electrolyte anode 
cathode and we have to maintain a temperature moderate temperature if you maintain very large temperature uh, high sorry high temperature results in a thick deposition because as the temperature increases the rate of reaction increases or a dissolution rate increases most of the metal ions they migrate towards the oppositely charged electrode as a result thick deposition is observed so if you that is a uh, dissolution or the slow diffusion rate with the electron transfer if you compare if you maintain a very high current very low current density or a, sorry very low temperature okay again we observe a few metal ions they migrate towards the electrode whereas the, the electron passage is more that's why while maintaining the current density and the temperature it should be moderate in the moderate temperature current density only few electrons or the number of electron transfer is exactly equal to the metal ion deposition so in if you use a very low current density or slow diffusion of metal ion takes place but the large electrons are passed uh, 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 to the electrode as a result thin deposition is possible but the rate of reaction is very slow uh, uh, reaction takes more time if you use a moderate uh, current density then we can make a thin and uniform coating Okay. Uh, here, uh, usually decorative chromium is made for decorative purpose. A thin deposit of chromium is applied over either nickel, copper nickel or nickel undercoat. And in the case of hard chromium, it involves the deposition of thick coating of chromium directly over the surface of the metal. And bath composition usually 250 gram of chromic acid with a 2.5 gram of sulfuric acid per liter of the solution is used. Uh, in the case of hard chromium, along with this, we'll introduce one gram of trivalent chromium per liter of the solution. The anode used is insoluble anodes like lead with lead 6% antimony or 7% tin coated with lead dioxide. In both the case, nickel pretreated articles or article directly will be taken as a cathode. Temperature is 45 to 60 degree we maintain. Current density 145 to 430 for uh, decorative chromium, whereas for hard chromium it is little more that's 290 to pi IT ampere for fixed square. The current efficiency is 10 to 15 percent in case of decorative and 17 to 21 percent in case of hard chromium. In the reaction that taking place during uh, deposition is chromic acid, the form dimerized to form a chromate. Uh, dichromates H2Cr2O7 and H2Cr2O7 dissociate to forming chromate ions, uh, chromic oxides that is um, dichromic oxide dichromates like uh, Cr2O7 to Two minus plus two H plus, and further reduction take place. Cr plus six gets reduced to Cr plus three ion in the presence of acid. Then further Cr plus three get deposited as a metal chromium. Here. Uh, the chromium inert anodes are used due to uh, the large difference between the uh, anode and cathode efficiency and results in imbalance of uh, bath composition with respect to Cr plus 3 and Cr plus 6 ion ratio and chromic acid to sulfuric acid ratio. And the sulfate acts as a catalyst in the presence of sulfate. Cr plus 6 ion converts to Cr plus 3 by complex anodic reaction, which is coated as an elemental chromium on the surface. For good deposition, chromium ion concentration should be low and it is controlled by inert anode. Okay. The main application of this chromium plating is it is used uh, for decorative purpose and the decorative chromium usually uh, we apply in order to make a decoration or decorative uh, finishing the article, durable finish to the article, provides a durable finish to the articles. It is applied on automobiles, aircraft, furniture, surgical and dental instruments. Hard chromium is applied to many components in almost every industry. We observe cutting tools, piston rings, sling, cylinder liners, etc. Black chromium, it is exceptional. It is mainly used in optical instruments, machine tools or even in uh, electronic parts coating of uh, solar energy collector, okay.